I'm at Omni Family Health at their Stein location. I'm joined by Dr. Kelly Hughes. It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you too, Jessica. We're going to talk about pediatrics today. We're mm -hmm. getting back on track and on schedule with getting our wellness appointments in, and we got to remember the kids, right? Absolutely. So Absolutely. is it safe to bring uh, kids to the health center? Yes, we were starting to make accommodations for kids and to make sure we got them in very early in the pandemic because we knew how important it was. So currently what we have in place is that we have contactless check-in where you can call the front office when you get there and check in in your car and just wait in your car until you are ready to be seen or you can come into the waiting rooms which are socially spaced. Yes, I know you've taken a lot of precautions and I just want to say that we're doing this interview safely because we've both been vaccinated so yep. we had to get clearance to take these safety precautions as well. Right, right. Um, but when, when we bring our children in, at what age should we start doing that? Oh, so you should start right at birth. So come in as soon as the baby's born and you're discharged from the hospital. And then you would do typically two weeks, but there might be a few weight checks in there before then, depending on how the baby's doing. And then at one month, two months, four months, six months, nine months, the one year birthday, 15 months, 18 months, and then at two years of age, and then they can come every year after that. There's just a lot that's changing and going on with those little ones, and we want to make sure we're helping you every step of the way with them. Yeah, so a lot in the end and in the beginning, and then we're doing one year from two and older. Correct. Perfect. Um, and then what happens at a well child visit? Again, that's related to how old the baby is. In those two, first two years, we're doing a lot of developmental screening, making sure that the baby is developing and getting those milestones that they're supposed to, as well as height and weight checks, which is what the parents are most interested in. They love to see the graphs and how their baby is growing. As they get older, we check for anemia and lead to make sure that they're not drinking too much milk or other things. Then we get into school age, and we're checking for hearing and vision. Um, and other school related items with their learning and their behavior. Yeah, these are things that I haven't even thought of. So uh, just better to make sure that you're coming into these appointments. You guys are checking for all these different Absolutely. things at different milestones. Exactly, it's in back of our heads and we wanna make sure we prepare you. Yeah, absolutely. So talk to me a little bit about child vaccines. What is important to know when it comes to vaccines for children? So I think one of the main things to know is that yes, we give more shots now, physical pokes, but that's because they actually get less of the antigen or the thing that we make immunity to because we've been able to purify it and stuff so they're getting more pokes but actually less of what it is they make that immune response to and babies and young children are designed to get illnesses they're designed to have immunization so that they create immunity for the rest of their lives so it's important to get them on time and early on in life so that they have their protection, not just when they're little, because of course you want to protect them when they're little, but really the rest of their life. Yeah, absolutely. I remember when I was young getting those back to school and sports physicals, mm -hmm. and why are those so important? So those are important because a lot of times those are either school age or the adolescent ages or teenagers, and they tend to not want to come as much. <laughs> and there's still some vaccines at those ages. Um, there is a lot going on with puberty. There is a lot going on that sometimes parents don't know about because you know teenagers don't always tell mom everything. Uh, so we actually find a lot on those exams. And having that exam done with your primary care doctor or your pediatrician is really important because she or he is gonna know about asthma or allergies or any other health problems that might affect school and sports and make sure those medications are up to date. Dr. Hughes, thank you so much for sharing all of this information. And for anyone who wants more information and how you can get appointments and what services are available, you can visit the Omni Family Health website or give them a phone call.